Hello again. Um, I've had requests over the years uh, about whether Glengarry and other bonnets can be restored. So I've laid some materials in. I have a roll of the correct grain ribbon to replace tails and also to replace the, the edging on glens. I recently had a request for a replacement black cockade because these things get beaten to death after a few years with cap badges repeatedly being taken in and pulled out. If you're a soldier, best bet is to get one cap badge for each of your headdress so you can just leave the damn thing alone. So I, I ordered a set through my supplier and they are quite a bit more um, sumptuous than the old ones because I'm not sure if you can see this very well but in the old one you've got a square piece of cloth with a raw edge and then another piece of ribbon which has been drawn up in the middle like like, like a drawstring just drawn together but the replacement ones are a little more ornate there's the square and there's the bow and the bow comes in two pieces so um, to, ins to install this and I'm not going to sew one of these on with white thread because I have a feeling that they're um, kind of single use only and I don't have very many of these things because I got a bag of them and then my uh, supplier just dried up and blew away so I've, well, let, I've, I've got this, what I've got, I, I don't think I can get any more. So one will sew the, the square on in one place and just an in and out loose stitch by hand around the edge. And then we take these two pieces. Now it's been a while, I'm going to have to experiment a bit, but I think what I'm going to try to do is sew these two pieces together like that and then mount it like so. It's, it's quite a bit more ornate. It's quite a bit, again, richer than the older style, and I think it looks pretty good. In fact, if I do this on my own bonnet, I'm, I think I'm inclined to mount it and then just not put a damn badge on it, right? Um, so I think to mount this again, a simple through and through stitch all the way around with black thread close to the edge, and then stitch these two pieces together carefully from behind. I, I think they may or may not be a better side, and you can, you can turn these things out and they have the raw edge of course and incidentally if you get one of these things with a raw edge for the love of everything don't pull that because it's just going to keep unwound, uh, unwinding and loose so if you get a raw if you get a bit sticking up snip it off because otherwise you'll just the whole thing will just come apart um, yeah so having sewn the things together and then mounted them carefully and then I think through and through stitches and I'm just going to use this as a pointer through and through stitches here and then ding 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 around the edge like that to keep the the center sort of this, this sort of 3d there's a bit of depth there um if you take a look at this and decide that's a little more than you want to attempt you know send me your bonnet and i'll do the, I'll, I'll mount it the other thing of course is i also have the the touris called in english the pom-poms both for the khaki bonnets i have a big bag of these and also for the for the glens and the, uh, the broad bonnets. And these are quite simple. They come with two long tails, so it's just a matter of waxing these two threads, threading them on a needle, sewing them through, and then sewing them through a couple of times, I think, and then tying it securely. And there you would go. Thanks.